Hey there, today I will share 37 travel hacks for carry-on bags. These hacks are going to be for the airplane, for the airport, for your hotel room. This is a long list of tips and tricks that I have been gathering from you over the last two years since I last produced a travel hack video. Many of the packing hacks are going to be inside this bento bag by Nomad Lane, who is sponsoring this video for us. The number one travel hack is to pack essentials inside your personal item bag, thus opening up more space to pack in your carry-on suitcase. Another travel hack is to pack an entire outfit in a compression cube inside your personal item bag. Compression cubes compress the air between your clothes and it makes it in the form of a book. That compression cube is going to slide in and out of the middle of this bento bag because of the top entrance to your bag. It's going to fit right by the tiered pockets where I would place my up to 15 inch laptop and my journal or book. Those middle compartment zippers go all the way around the bottom edge of your personal item bag. And that is how your bag can open all the way flat. On a recent trip, I was able to pack a really bulky sweater inside a compression cube. Depending on your travel outfit, you're able to go from the boarding room to boarding an airplane very easily. Another packing hack is for your curling iron. If your curling iron is still hot, just pack it inside an oven mitt, or you can buy one of those curling iron travel cases that is heat sensitive. A travel hack for the airplane is to wear a few layers inside the airplane and then you just drape them over your personal bag that fits underneath the airplane seat in front of you mid-flight. You can also use colored tape to write your email address and stick it inside your suitcase and your personal item bag if you'd like. If someone mistakes your bag for their own, they can find out how to reach you. And then also in baggage claim, it's easily identifiable if it's got colored tape on the outside of your suitcase. Another travel hack is for medicine. My friend Cheryl packs in an Advil container that she has bought in the travel size department of her grocery store. It's like $3 for like eight Advil, but she's gonna reuse that container every time. It's small and it's easy to pack. Another travel hack is to buy a travel size container of shampoo. When it is done, you just refill it with your own shampoo. Another travel hack is to take a picture of your luggage and what it looks like and take a picture of the parking column that tells where you parked your car before the airport. This bento bag has some hidden packing hacks for when you go through airport security. Your liquids bag has its own little pocket at the top of this bag. And therefore, when you go through the transportation security administration line, it's going to be quick because it's so easily accessible in that line. I love the attached handle for easy access as well. One of the travel hacks for liquids is to pack them all horizontally. You are going to be able to fit more containers in. If you do need a first time flying video about the basic steps through security or the rules, I will link a couple of those videos below for you. This pouch is included in the bento bag. And what I would use it for if you already have a liquids bag that you like Use this as a DIY amenity kit for the airplane. You can pack like Advil, Tylenol, Band-Aids, anything that you might need. A little pair of socks or a roll-up pair of slippers would also fit in here. I forgot to take those for the hotel room and we stayed in a really old hotel. All we needed was a bed, <laughs> so it was okay because we were gone every minute of the day but I wish I had packed those roll-up slippers. So that's just another amenity kit as if you were flying in first class idea or travel hack. Another travel hack that I started doing this summer is I move my liquids bag to my carry-on suitcase and therefore I can fit more travel essentials in that extra pocket. I mean, it goes all the way down to my wrist. So that's about six or seven inches deep for extra essentials that I might find in the airport store. <laughs> If you do not know this travel hack, most companies are making these now. It is a trolley strap that fits over your suitcase handle so you can be hands-free in the airport. This one is amazing for two reasons. It slides easily over those handles. And my other travel bag that I've traveled with, with a super light interior, I have to stop where I'm going and finagle it to make it fit over the suitcase handles. This trolley sleeve also has a pocket for easy access for your ID, your passport maybe, if you're flying internationally. If my carry-on bags are packed full, I use this travel hack. 
I have my ID only and my vaccination card, my passport if I need it. While I'm going through airport security, I keep them only in this outside trolley strap pocket. And then after security at my airplane gate, I will get it organized and put everything where I want to pack them for the trip. Since there is so much space in the bento bag, I have my crossbody bag packed vertically inside this outer pocket. And then once I'm through with security, I can pull it out if I need to. I also can easily get to the bag inside the airplane. This personal item bag's dimension fits under every major airline, the top three. I even flew in a CRJ, like a 50-seater airplane, and I had plenty of space for the personal item bag and my foot. <laughs> I was so excited to test the bento bag shape on a 50-seater airplane because so many of you have to fly on those airplanes. The dimensions are 17 by 8 by 10 inches. One travel tip I thought of when we had to fly through Newark International Airport is to know that if in that airport, you have to get out of the airport and walk to the bus to change terminals. You are not under a covering and a woman stumbled trying to get in the bus. So I was waiting with my carry-on suitcase and this personal item bag, which could have gotten rained on plus my hair, but it didn't rain. Okay, but that was just a tip I thought of for y'all having a bag that is water resistant, a carry-on suitcase, as well as this personal item bag. This one is water resistant and it has genuine vegan leather handles. And I just like this added high quality feature of this bag, but it also comes with the shoulder strap. And what I did on my flight is after I transferred my liquids bag to my carry-on suitcase, I put the shoulder strap in that pocket where the liquids bag was right at the top. For the TSA line, another hack that this bag offers is the tiered pockets, which are also easily accessible from that middle set of zippers. It's right below where I stowed my laptop. And then I put my journal there, but my laptop is 13.5 inches, but it is big enough for most 15 inch laptops. Another travel hack for the TSA line is if you wear laced shoes before you get to the airport or while you are standing in line, untie your shoes, but tie the laces in little knots so they do not drag the dirty floor in the airport. Thank you, Ken, for that travel hack. My friend I talked about named Cheryl also sent me a picture of a travel hack for if you forget like I did about walking through security with sandals and you have to take off your shoes in regular airport security. She just takes takes an antibacterial wipe and when she gets to the bench after airport security, she just wipes off her foot, trashes that wipe, it's one and done. But another travel hack that someone mentioned is you can wear your regular sock through airport security and then like one of those no-show socks over that regular sock that you're wearing for your travel outfit. And then just pack those little no-show socks that you've worn through the security floor area in a Ziploc baggie and wash them the first night of your vacation and then they'll be dry by the time you go back. If you are new here, welcome to our almost 100,000 subscriber travel community. I'm a Houston Pilot Wife and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Click the bell beside subscribe and you'll never miss a video. When you travel with a personal item bag, they can be a backpack, a weekender bag that's like a tote bag, or a small duffel bag, which is what this bento bag is considered. It has a sleek design, so I don't really refer to it as a duffel bag, but it can be for women or men, and I really like that uh, functionality of it. Nomad Lane is giving you a $10 off coupon that I will link in the description box below. Travel hacks are really any smart thinking that saves you time, saves you space when packing a carry-on, or saves you effort. And my effort these days is expensive. <laughs> like the effort it takes to open a jar of pickles. <sighs> On a 10-day trip or maybe a two-day trip to Vermont if I pack too many clothes, it's nice to be able to pack inside this personal item bag as part of a suitcase. I mean, look at how many inches deep it is. I can pack a couple of packing cubes full of outfits. There are a couple of travel hacks that you can use with a carabiner hook. If you are traveling in a high pickpocketing area, I have that in a video below. The hack that I used is I attached my mask for travel to this carabiner hook while I was packing and that way I knew I would not forget it because we have not had to wear it in so many months. So that helped me. <laughs> One of my viewers named Janice uses a bear claw 
in her airplane seat. So if you are disabled and need to get to your personal item bag underneath the airplane seat, packing a little bear claw is accept, uh, acceptable to the TSA. And then you can also easily get your personal item bag. They have this carabiner hook, which would be a great way to use that hack. Or they also have the strap. The bento bag is only 2.7 pounds when it's empty. It is not an extra heavy bag. I know this bag is loved by flight attendants and other airline crew, as well as business travelers. You can tell that business travelers designed this bag because of all of these hidden features that end up being travel hacks for me. One way you can tell that Nomad Lane is a company of frequent flyers is that they use Y2K zippers. I just had a friend the other day asking me what type of carry-on bag she should get, and I said, no matter what, check the zippers. Y2K is the highest quality, and they are very smooth to me when you're trying to open the pockets. Do not miss the carabiner hook that's inside your front pocket. I packed my key in there. Let me know if you have a creative hack for an inside carabiner hook. Um, I used it for when we were walking through the airport parking deck by ourselves. I mean, it's, it's nice to have easy access for safety. There are 21 pockets for organizing your travel essentials or using packing hacks to pack those travel essentials. Like I said, I do have a video that I'll link below about safety in high pickpocketing areas, but I also have a newer video about how to get through long haul flights with some tips international and just any flight that's over five hours. When you use these travel hacks that I'm sharing and other viewers have sent as their tips and tricks, you want to think of containers in different ways. Think of smaller containers that you can use. One travel hack is to use a Tic Tac box for bobby pins. We all know the classic travel hack with contact lens cases for little amounts of lotion. Another travel hack is to use a plastic Easter egg for your beauty blender because it has holes for ventilation. When you pack your carry-on, just look at those containers in a different way. For instance, you can pack jewelry in a pill box. Socks can be packed inside of shoes. They can also be packed inside an empty aluminum mug that you're going to use on your vacation home in Hawaii for morning coffee maybe. Inside this bento bag, there is a little area for one of those skinny water bottles. One travel hack for this little loop that is for a water bottle in the bento bag is to pack an umbrella there instead. Since we were going to Vermont and there was a chance of rain, especially if you're traveling in between seasons, um, you can pack an umbrella there, but my travel hack is to pack it in a gallon bag. That way, if the umbrella is wet when it's time to pack or you're going to use your umbrella to get into the airport, pack it in the plastic bag to protect your essentials from water. Another travel hack is for inside the airport at the ticketing counter. If you are checking luggage, you can ask the ticketing agent for a fragile sticker. I don't know if it will work, but you can ask. To make more space in your carry-on bag and your personal item bag, shake it down towards the ground a couple of times when you're packing, like close it up and shake it, and that'll give you a few more inches. I think Arlene is the one who shared that hack with me a couple of years ago. Another travel hack is from Sharon on my channel, and she says to pack travel essentials in your CPAP machine. Now, if you are traveling with a CPAP machine, I do have a video about traveling through the TSA line with medicine that is very helpful. A CPAP machine does not count as a carry-on item to the TSA or to any airline. If you're a solo traveler, sleeping by yourself can be a little scary. There is an item that you can buy on Amazon, but I thought of a travel hack or one of you shared a travel hack with me, and that is to just pack a rubber doorstop instead. The one that is on Amazon is super heavy, so I returned that. Another travel hack for a hotel is to use the little paper cup for coffee for your eyeshadow brushes and just pack your eyeshadow brushes in your crossbody purse. If you do not want your toothbrush to touch the counter of the hotel room, just poke a hole in the bottom of that paper cup and your toothbrush has a stand. I don't know if you know this, but flight attendants will put the coffee filter inside the lavatory in the airplanes for smell to absorb odors. And you can also do that in your hotel room. I believe it was Wanda who gave me this travel hack for your hotel room. And that is to put the little cheap coffee filters that hotels give you on where the vent is of the air conditioner in the room. 
it just helps absorb that musty smell that is in some hotel rooms. It was not in mine. And we were in the La Quinta at the airport in Burlington, Vermont. Okay, here are some more travel hacks for your list. Our friend Kristen uses rubber bands from the produce section around your zippers. If you're going to a high pickpocketing area, it just delays a thief's intentions, okay? You want to just make them pause instead of easily being able to unzip your backpack or your personal item tote. Now, Mad Lane also includes a cord organizer that is easily accessible, but you can also pack hair ties, you can pack socks or undies in this as a packing cube. Another travel hack for your hotel is from Izumi, and she suggests having your own container for your shampoo, but only packing a small amount of your shampoo. And then when you do take a shower in the hotel, you use a little bit of the hotel shower shampoo and a little bit of your own shampoo. I have dry scalp when I travel, so I have to use my shampoo. That's a great idea. And then another travel hack, I finally found Lush Shampoo Bar. If you need space in your liquids bag, get a shampoo bar from Lush. I have one from Amazon and this is not sponsored. I do not get anything from Lush. And y'all, there are so many suds. That was my concern was that it would not suds up my hair easily. So many suds. You just rub your hair like three or five times with the shampoo bar and all these suds just go everywhere and it leaves my, my hair so soft. I Love it. Here's the travel hack for traveling with a shampoo bar. Cut the shampoo bar in half because you don't need the whole thing for a five day trip when it is wet. Another travel hack is to wrap it up every time you're moving out of your hotel room in a washcloth. But if you'll see in my picture, it's bulky. So I would just try, or not trash it. I would just throw your shampoo bar into a plastic baggie for when you need to come home. A travel hat for makeup maybe is to soak cotton balls in makeup remover or eye makeup remover and then put them inside a plastic bag for travel. It does not count as a liquid because they're just damp as an antibacterial wipe would be. They do not count as liquids to the TSA. I shared that travel hack on my first appearance on TV on the Fox 26 channel here in Houston. They loved that travel hack. My friend Kathy packs a placemat to put on the hotel countertop for all of her toiletries. You can also use the hotel ironing board as an extension of your counter space, especially if you have three daughters like my friend Donna does. And you can use that ironing board. I got this idea from Samantha Brown. You can use it as a table to eat food in bed on your vacation. <laughs> But for both of those travel hacks, do not forget to put down a hand towel or something so no stains will be on an ironing board where people will be ironing for work clothes. Another packing hack that I thought of for where this cord organizer goes in the bento bag pocket, it is so deep, like I talked about, that you can fit something else in there along with your cord organizer. You wanna find every little pocket of space. A travel hack for a hotel room is to pack a nightlight. You can pack it down in that little pocket because there's so much extra space in there. But my friend, my other friend Donna also told me this travel hack and Amazon makes this little bug that stands up and it has a light in it. And you can use that light on low voltage. It will last over 12 hours. So you can use that as a night light. And if you use it on high beam, you can use it like for fewer hours, but it does recharge with the USB cord for your laptop. And the legs are those twisty bendable legs so they can wrap around whatever you need it to be on your vacation. Paige shared a travel hack for the hotel and that is to ask the front desk for an extra bottle of shampoo. You can just pack that in your liquids bag for the return home and there you have it. You don't have to buy any. My friend Jenny shared a travel hack for blisters. After touring all day, if you have a blister and no Band-Aid, you can use a disposable mask. You hook one around your big toe and then back around your heel is where the mask would go. And then you attach the other strap to your pinky toe and nobody is going to see it, especially if you're wearing boots. A lot of people like the short boots for travel because it is it takes up less space in your carry-on bag. So I thought that was a brilliant hack for now that we're in 2021 and still needing masks. Another travel essential we need now is the card saying we got the shot. 
One thing that we do when we are in our home is we use washi tape because it's kind of like blue tape or painter's tape uh, to tape it to the inside of our passport. Another travel hack for your passport is when you are in that hotel room, use washi tape or blue tape to tape your passport underneath the desk in the hotel room, like if there's not a safe there. Another travel hack with this bag is it is sturdy enough to prop your feet on it to help circulation during a long international flight. One of my original travel hacks is to use painter's tape to cover up the hotel light in uh, microwave light or the clock light because some of those are so bright. And don't forget my favorite travel hack and that is to use the pants coat hanger in the hotel closet to connect the, the curtains in your hotel room to keep that sunlight out early in the morning. Another travel hack is to take a picture of your hotel room number, especially if you are going from hotel to hotel. I thought that was such a brilliant and safe <laughs> idea or hack. If you do not have access to a sink, you can use that gallon bag that you've packed and wash your clothes inside a gallon baggie with water. One travel hack I forgot about is using a personal item bag that already has the USB charger attached. You attach your power bank to it and then your cord to your phone or whatever you need to charge and you can charge it mid-flight. And it is TSA compliant. Our friend Joyce uses the binders clips that you would use in an office to close chips bags in the airplane or at your rental home. You can also wrap a towel around you in your hotel and use that binder clip to hold the towel more securely together. So many travel hacks. If you do want the $10 coupon, be sure to go to the description box below. To get to the description box, you just click the upside down triangle or the words show more, depending on what device you're watching me on. If you wanna share this video with your friends or family, just click that arrow that says share and you can share it in whatever way you want to. There are lots of ways that it gives you. If you would like more travel tip videos, I have some listed below. Thank you for your time. Say hello if we have not met yet.